guess what came in the post a little while ago? We have a lion to represent Gryffindor over here. We've got like some crystals here. This sweet. And the snitch. Yes, I forgot the word. <laughs> um, there is a lightning bolt as well. So that was a Z for Zonka, but I think it's a lightning bolt. The H for Hogwarts up there. They've got a Bernie Bots. Five beings there. That's a flying key. We got. Technically, it's supposed to be an eagle. That looks more like a raven type of thing, isn't it? Anyway, it's Ravenclaw. Here we got a rat for scappers, I guess, and a pawn for the chess. I guess these two would rep represent Ron, I guess, maybe? I don't know. And here are like the uh, stars, for, like the, the chapter stars, like in the uh, American version, I guess? Ooh, and up here we have a chocolate frog. We got a little kind of bird type of animal there. Then we've got lovely gold foiling all around. Okay, so here we have a spider. Ew. We've got the acceptance letter, I guess. And we've got a snake, I believe. To represent southern. We have a fruit of some kind, I guess. Looks more like Dragon fruit or whatever, isn't it? I have no idea what it is. Anyway, we've got a pumpkin over here to represent the Hagrid's pumpkin patch. <laughs> we've got a bat up here <laughs> and a potion vial and a badger for Hufflepuff. So that is the front. Um, this is the back. It has the front design, but it's more embossed on the back cover. There's no gold foiling. Not suitable for under 36 months due to small parts. Hmm. Copyright 2020. Bloom 30 children's books. 30 pounds. It was 30 pounds. With 5 pound 95 president. Um... Oh, we've got an owl right here. Did I miss it on the front? No, I didn't miss it. Let's well, guess a different thing compared to the front. I guess it doesn't have extra stuff inside of the, the window bit. Obviously, since it doesn't have Design and Illustrated by Nelly Nemo on the back, it's just got the Hogwarts H down there, like, above. So the only difference is maybe the owl and the H down there. That's different from the front. So rather than thinking about it, maybe the uh, crystals up here would probably represent the Philosopher's Stone, even though it doesn't look like that, I guess. I mean, it could. Anyway, the back has the acceptance letter dress, and this, I should just briefly read it out to you, I guess. Um, Harry Potter used to, you, is used to a world without magic. His miserable aunt and uncle make sure of that. But then, mysterious letters start arriving, each addressed to Harry in emerald green ink. Change tingles in the air. Adventure waits. For Harry Potter is no ordinary boy. He is a wizard, and nothing will ever be the same again. With brilliant full color illustrations and inventive paper engineered features from award winning design house Mia Lima, 
The stunning edition of the first book in the Harry Potter series will charm and delight readers of all ages. Cover art and design by Neil Copyright 2020, Scholastic Incorporated. The Lady Love. So, I'm going to get the, uh, here. This is a signed copy. It's very lovely. Inside insert. It's got, I guess, Harry or any wizard on a broomstick. And he's technically, you know, it's got a little fly, flight trail of the snitch. That's pretty cool. All of them are kind of different uh, flight trails on some of them, but it looks a bit pretty cool. Now if you can see it closer, there you go. And you've got some stars as well in there. So cool! I will admit that the Philosopher's Stone, and this is very nice, big font, which is great for my glass, for my eyes. Very beautiful font and illustrations. Pretty cool. Mr. H. Potter at the floor, hut on the rock, the sea. Very Really a place you want to be in it. This pot, pretty neat too. about the author on the end. And uh, this is the last art. Punk Express arriving at platform nine and three quarters. I wasn't really in depth the uh, inside look, mainly in depth on the uh, <laughs> cover, but uh, anyway, we've got lots of different nice illustrations. 
And this was the uh, second print run, I guess, of this. That was awesome. Yeah, to be honest, I, I think I said this, so I might have cut myself off. The Philosopher's Stone is the actually only Harry Potter book I actually read. I've watched all the movies, but technically this is the only Potter book that I've actually read. So when I get the next one, I will actually read it. <laughs> and that's uh, behind the times on there. But anyway, yes. So, thank you for watching. I can talk more. Bring the door before notifications. Oh, I don't know.